Welcome back guys to the PvP build for the new patch on my stamina night bit this time with a range setup with an old school monster set Pirate Skeleton. Didn't use this set for I would say 3 or 4 years. When you take damage, so it has a 100% proc chance, you transform into a skeleton and gain major protection and minor defy for 15 seconds. 10% damage reduction flat, but also decreases your healing by 6%. Small buff in this patch, since DeFi got reduced from 8 to 6%. As front bus set, back edit go more, an overland set, gives double crit, weapon spell damage, and while you have food buff active, your critical damage and healing is increased by 13%. Fits in very good with this setup, since the bow passive also got reworked in this patch. With the new bow passive, mine does training, increase your critical chance by 1.3k, so it's basically minus energy, 6% more crit rate. If you're further than 50 meters away, if you're closer than 50 meters or close range, you gain even a 5% flat damage bonus. Pretty nice. Back bar, Wretch Vitality, definitely needed. I need the stamina and magicka recovery, otherwise, sustain will be a big issue. Death here is Feed as Mythic, and 120 is Fitter for the XHP. Alternative to Wretch Vitality, Rallying Cry is also possible, and then instead of Pirate Skeleton, a Sustain Monster set, like Rocks of the Warp, should also work, probably still one recovery glyph needed. Armor types, one heavy chest in reinforce for the extra resistance, two light, and the rest medium armor with three impen. Two well fitted, one sturdy, full prismatic glyphs of course, for the extra magicka stamina and HP, full infuse on the jury with one stamina recovery and two weapon spell damage, front bar bow and sharpened with the poison damage and charge alternative, charged also works for an increase of status effects since I'm using Edisas and back bar nice stuff in defending pretty basic with the escapist poisons. For Gormor on the front bar, you have multiple choices. You could use Archer's Mind for more crit damage, Stygian for more extra weapon spell damage, or Shattered Fate for more penetration. I've tested all three sets, and they're all pretty close to each other. Quick look on the skills. Magnum Shot, our CC, Venom Arrow for the major brutality buff, 20% extra weapon damage, also nice poison damage ability, and if someone is channeling, you even interrupt the enemy. Focused Aim is Sparrow, which applies the standard status effect, which procs the minor breach debuff, recap penetration, plus 100 extra weapon spell damage now since this patch. Mercer's Resolve, the Magicka Moth, did slightly more damage than the Stamina one. Shadow Disguise, our Cloak ability, gives also slotted Major Savagery, 12% crit rate. On the front bar, Ballista, instead of Toxic Barrage. The problem with Toxic Barrage, it deals more damage, but you are stuck on your front bar, which is really, really difficult to play with if you have multiple targets on you. Back bar, Elisas for Major Breach, 6k penetration and the three status effects, Burning, Chilled and Concussion. Alternative, you could use Crushing Weapon instead of Focused Aim and then use a dot ability, like for example debilitate on the back bar, then race against time for minor force, 10% crit damage and major expedition, also our snare removable, Vega Selfie, and for minor resort 3k armor, siphoning attacks for sustain, gives not 200 magic and stamina back every one second, that's huge, even heals you, and if you activate this ability, you gain 2.6k magic back immediately, plus stamina, but it costs HP though, so watch out for it. Shoot offering is burst here, and temple guard, probably one of the best defensive, if not the best defensive, one rex ultimate. Minor protection, plus no shit button. And really underestimated is the psychic passive, called concentrated barrier, which is basically a damage shield, really helpful especially as solo player. As race Dunmer for the extra weapon spell damage, max magic and stamina and the flame resistance, really helpful as a vampire, which we are. Vamp stage 3, you know it, for the undeath passive for up to 30% damage reduction, and strikes from the shadows for another 300 extra weapon and spell damage on top. Moon the Shadow for 11% crit damage, we should be around 120% crit damage with the setup. Smoke Behunch is bar food for extra magic and stamina recovery, attribute points 21 points in health, the rest in stamina, like this I'm at around 29k, 30k -ish HP without feed stacks, with 30 stacks around 33k HP, so more than enough, and with Pirate Skeleton and Temple Guard we have access to minor and major protection, 15% damage reduction. Potion, the tricep potion, CP steady aim, fighting finesse for more crit damage and also increases crit healing, very nice. Warful strikes for extra weapon spell damage and do a sweep buff. If you prefer more tankiness, I would de-slot Warful strikes for ironclad. Red CP, sustained by suffering, pain refuge, slippery and celerity. Combination, pre buff yourself first with race against time and vigor. Apply Elisas, Venom Arrow, Shadow Disguise, Ballista, Focused Aim, into Magnum Shot. A 
if your bow poke is up, use your bow poke in between or as execute. That's it with another PvP build. Enjoy the gameplay footage. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.